Hello, and welcome to Introduction to Optimization. This video covers an example of optimization in Python using scipy.minimize. In this video, we'll ask the question, how big does a snowball need to be so that after 30 seconds of rolling down a hill, it strikes a tree with enough force to knock it over? For the purposes of this example, we'll assume that it takes 25,000 newtons of force to knock over a tree. The optimization will be choosing the initial mass and the initial radius of the snowball. To begin, we need a model of the snowball dynamics. For this example, we'll be using a model presented in Comparative Kinetics of the Snowball Respect to Other Dynamical Objects by Rodolfo Diaz. From this paper, we'll take four main differential equations. One for the change in mass of the snowball over time one for the change in radius over time, one for the change in position, and one for the change in velocity over time. Don't worry too much about the details of these equations. We'll be focusing on how to use them for optimization. Specifically, we'll be taking the right-hand side of these equations to use in ODE int to predict the size, mass, and velocity of the snowball at the end of 30 seconds. Once we have those quantities, we'll calculate the kinetic energy of the snowball and the impact force, which we'll approximate by taking the kinetic energy at the end of 30 seconds and dividing by the radius of the snowball at that time. The objective function of our optimization will be to minimize the force minus the desired force of 25,000 newtons squared. This is known as a squared error objective and is common in optimization. Along with these equations, we'll take some other parameters from this paper, such as the snowball growth factors, the drag coefficient, the gravity, the snow density, the slope of the hill, and the air density. Now we'll move over and code this optimization problem in Python. To begin, we'll import several packages, NumPy, SciPy Integrate, and SciPy Optimize. We'll be using ODE int and minimize to solve our optimization problem. First, we'll define the system parameters, as was shown on the slides. Next, we'll choose a set of initial conditions. We'll have an initial guess of 10 kilograms for the mass, an initial velocity of zero. From the initial mass, we'll calculate the initial radius and set the initial position also equal to zero. We'll set our target force equal to 25,000 newtons. Then we'll use NumPy linspace to set a time array to solve for 30 seconds. Next, we need to set up a function that describes the dynamics of our snowball for ODE int. We'll be using the state variables mass, radius, position, and velocity, and the parameters we defined earlier. Here we'll make an array of the four differential equations we showed in the slides that define the behaviors of these state variables over time. Next, we'll need to create an objective function for optimization. This is the function that our optimizer will try to minimize. We'll make our objective a function of the initial mass of the snowball. We'll load in the parameters, calculate the initial radius, and set our initial guesses to give to the optimizer. We'll integrate forward for 30 seconds, calculate the kinetic energy at the end of the run, and calculate the impact force required to stop the snowball within one radius. And we'll compare that to the desired force using our squared error objective. Now that we have our functions defined, we can call the optimization. Here you can see we're calling scipy minimize using our objective giving it our initial guess for the initial mass and telling it to display the results. Once our optimization is solved, we'll get the initial mass from the solution and calculate the optimized initial radius from the initial mass using the density. Just to show that this is correct, we'll calculate the final force using the optimized initial conditions. We'll integrate forward over our time horizon and get the final kinetic energy and the final impact force.
We'll finish off by plotting our results. Let's go ahead and run this code. Okay, the code has finished successfully. You can see the optimization terminated successfully. It took nine iterations to solve and 33 function evaluations. And we've come out with the optimized initial mass is 54 kilograms, or about 110 pounds. The initial radius is 33 centimeters, about 13 inches. And that gives us a final force after 30 seconds of just about 25,000 pounds. To summarize, we calculated the size and weight required for a snowball so that after rolling for 30 seconds, it would strike a tree with sufficient force to knock it over. First, we built a system model. Next, we chose an objective function. We then integrated the dynamics with ODE int to obtain the final conditions. We wrapped all that in optimization to find the initial conditions needed using SciPy Minimize. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Click these links for other videos on optimization topics.